Uh, Gage, what's going on? Yeah, just coming back for you know another season after starting last year. Just kind of how much more comfortable are you in UCF? Obviously, you're working with the same specialist unit too. Is it, is it a pretty cohesive unit? Oh point? yeah, everybody's super cohesive, and I have a lot more confidence in myself and kind of my abilities. I know what to expect with the bounce house, kind of all the unknowns that you come in as a first year guy, and you know the coaches, how we operate on the sideline, all those little things. Feeling a lot more comfortable about it, and just ready to go. Gage, yeah. what have you seen from your from the special teams group, and what stood out to you? Like you said, another year with the same, pretty much the same group. What what has stood out to you about how this group has gone through fall camp this year? Um, just the consistency of everybody, of Mitch, of Boomer, of myself, of Michael Carter. Just guys being way more consistent. Um, you see all the hard work we put in the off season, and it's kind of, you know, coming coming together at practice. So that's what I'm seeing. Just consistency overall. Coach Malzahn said Sunday would be more about uh, special teams work, uh, working some things out. Obviously, you guys uh, struggled a little bit last year with punt coverage. What have you noticed from that? Um, just emphasis on it and um, trying to kind of work out our kinks. And we had six periods the other day of just working on special teams, working on that, you know, covering. And we got a lot of good players on our special teams or punt coverage unit. So that, uh, you'll see improvement there. Coach Harris said Practice is supposed to be hard, but he wants players to have fun. Yeah. Has practice been hard, and have you had fun? Uh, I think the special, the specialists, we make it hard on ourselves. We work a lot on our own, and we try to do as much as we can so we're prepared. But yeah, we always have fun together. We're always, always joking and having fun. Beyond personnel, what sorts of changes are being made to address the fun coverage? Um, we're going with, you know, similar. Uh, <laughs> Similar things we've done in the past, but you know, just working on the small technical differences, the techniques that maybe we missed last year, but we're kind of tightening down on those and putting an emphasis more on it this year. Have you noticed the, I mean, Gus talked about maybe this one of the toughest fall camps that, since he's been here. Have you noticed that? Have you guys noticed that? And what's been his, his, you know, his comments on being tough, you know, about toughness and being yeah. tougher. Have you felt like that's the, the main emphasis uh, I think definitely on the whole team, I think the toughness for us is just straining in the situational, well, our scrimmage, our third scrimmage, we did a lot of situational football and game winning kicks, that kind of stuff. So it's not so much physical for us, but more mental straining and being ready for those big moments, the Boise State moments when you have to go out there and perform. I think that's the strain that he looks for out of us and having confidence in us knowing that when he sends us out there, it's getting done and how he wants it done. So. With uh, realignment having changed the Big 12 a bit, what's kind of the emotions knowing that you're going to get a chance to play Arizona State this year? It's all it's all the same to me. I it's a, it'll be good to go back there see some of the the staff that I remember, but it's all just get the job done and you know same game to game for me. I'm not looking too much into it. What are the biggest changes that you've made in your game season over season? Um, I'd say just trying to be more consistent on my field goals and trying to emulate some snappers that I watch and kind of take some techniques from them. Alex Ward, stuff like that. Watching his film, he sends me a lot of he sent me some stuff. So just kind of tweaking stuff that maybe wasn't as consistent or as technically sound as I wanted it to be and emulating the, the professionals. So. You talked about now you're familiar with the bounce house and just kind of being out there as a starter. Is it an adjustment for you to go out, especially go out on the road and it's yeah. a loud environment, there's fans screaming and you know you got to do your job. So how did you kind of adjust to that last season? Um, to be honest with you, I love road games. I kind of thrive on the, it's us versus them. Can I, we're, we're the road dogs. It's us three, me, Mitch, and Boomer out there and we got to kind of perform under the pressure and it being loud. So honestly, I like road games. I love the bounce house, but that wasn't too much of an adjustment. I, I like seeing all the towns, all the little small cities that we go to and their fans, their kind of little traditions and stuff like that. So it wasn't too big of a, big of a difference. But. You said you like road games. What, like, what stands out to you? I mean, do you? Are you one of those people that gets on the field and loves to hear the, the, the fans, the opposing fans maybe give you some, some, give you some guff and stuff like that? Oh, I love it. I love uh, like just little things like Kansas State, all their sponsors were like Farmers of America, like stuff <laughs> like that. I love that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, the chance they have, you know, us being on the sideline, you know, them chirping Boomer and, you know, just stuff like that. Love looking at the stadiums, rolling in, rolling into like Kansas and seeing the little towns, stuff like that. But yeah, love it all. You talked about um, talking with Alex about uh, improving your game. Uh, we got a look at his like, self-evaluation process with a little pamphlet. Mm -hmm. What's your self-evaluation? I have the same exact thing. I keep a notebook. I watch every single snap. Um, I can tell you every single snap since I've been here, where it's been, where the laces have been. I keep a chart, location, laces, spiral, all that kind of stuff. Um, 
before practice, I write down like notes what I want to achieve that day. I have three positives from practice, three negatives that I write down afterwards that I want to work on, and just trying to chip away each day and get as good as I can. So. Describe Arizona State as a road venue. Um, great weather, beautiful field, um, good stadium. We'll see how the fans are. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't been there in a little bit, so we'll see how it is. Thank you. All right, we're ready to kick your cold bullet.